Welcome to a regular feature here on the show, Red's All-American Face, where we assemble a portrait using the features of famous Americans. Tonight's portrait is the All-American Watergate Face. We start off with the hair of Bob Haldeman, the eyebrows of John Ehrlichman, the nose of Richard Nixon, the mouth of John Dean, and the chin of John Mitchell. <laughs> There we have it, the all-American Watergate face. And if you look at this face closely, folks, you'll notice one thing that gives me great confidence in the American system. None of these features are black. <laughs> one more thing. We interrupt the Red Fox Show to take you directly to Stockholm, Sweden for this special report. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mike Walden speaking to you live from Stockholm, Sweden, where you are watching. It's nighttime. However, it's early morning here in Stockholm, and it looks as if we're going to have clear, beautiful weather for what daredevil Super Dave Osborne hopes to be his finest hour. Super Dave will attempt to accomplish a feat in an automobile that is almost impossible to describe. And uh, I think he's coming now. Yes, Super Dave is just now being spotted by the fans here in the stands, resplendent in his red, white, and blue racing outfit. Super Dave, welcome. Thank you very much, Mike. And I want to say thank you to ABC for covering this event uh, and for caring enough about what I do to outbid the other networks. Well, Dave, it was a year ago on another network that you risked your life. Yes, I accomplished a complete 360-degree turn in a tiny metal car uh, at approximately 200 miles an hour. Uh, I didn't have a parachute, and I'm here today to talk about it, so uh, I'm ready. Well, that brings up an important point. What about the safety of this event today? Well, uh, to be very honest with you, uh, today is something special. I wish it uh, hadn't been quite so bright out, uh, but... Uh, it's a dangerous event. Uh, I have purposely not publicized this event. Uh, I felt that if I tried to tell the people what I'm going to do today uh, in an ordinary automobile, they wouldn't believe me. Super Dave, I have to be honest with you. I don't believe you could make it. So all I can say is good luck. Thank you very much, Mike. Well, Dave is going over now, and he's going to check with his pit crew for one last-minute checkover before he begins this great, great feat. Now, this automobile costs Super Dave's sponsor, the Pickham Oil Company, approximately $300,000. It has triple reinforced roll bars, special nylon, excuse me, Dave, special nylon tires, which have a hard Teflon alloy in the tubing. The motor is the largest cubic inch engine ever put in a standard Detroit chassis. The car weighs over two tons. And as you can see, every safety device known to man is being used to hopefully bring Dave through this miraculous feat. He's got the car revved up now, and that means that we can't be only just a couple of moments away. Once again, Dave, good luck from all of us here in Stockholm, and I'm sure all of your friends watching in America. Well, thank you, Mike, and I want to say one thing to my wife and kids. I love you, and I'll see you soon, and to my sponsor, Daytona Lavage Motors. Fellas, if I don't make it, it's not your fault. You've done it all. Okay, Dave, good luck. All we can do now is hold tight, sit back, and watch. Okay, now, uh... Oh, that was good. I still feel okay. I've lost some visibility out of the windshield. Uh, the liftoff was very good, though, and if I can stay in this position, I'll be okay. Uh, there's a possibility I might have a slight whiplash. Uh, I just won't be able to tell until I get out. And now they're putting me into position, uh, and uh, oh, I don't want to go in that way. I've got to try to turn the car around as best as I can. Uh, oh, it's tough. It's very tough. My right arm is kind of pinched against my side here. I'll get it in there, and I'm trying to get it into position. I've got it now. Oh, good. All right, I'm moving backwards now, and the steering wheel is forcing me into the back seat. I'm into the trunk now, and I'm... Oh! <laughs> I wonder if my insurance covers this. 
Mike, you want to get me out now? <laughs> you know, money or not, I don't think I should have done this trick. 